All right, good morning. Uh, deadlift time for uh, Monday night. I only have uh, only have two sets uh, recorded as uh, the uh, second set, uh, the camera fell over. So I'm going to at some point, I'm going to have to get uh, a front a front view of the uh, of my setup and everything. So I don't know if my uh, my arms are uh, are out wide enough, but uh, I basically take about a a thumb in from the uh, from the smooth part. So it's trying to. Uh, Right. Extend my back, keep it straight, as straight as possible. <coughs> and uh, I know it doesn't look like I'm exploding, but holy cow, does it feel like I'm exploding when I uh, when I'm actually doing the sets? So. Uh, now you can see on my left leg there, I've ripped again. I've ripped open a. It's an older scar, or an older scab. Uh, that was uh, that was a horrible rep. I should have pulled more through the legs, or pushed through the legs. So then you just have to focus on <clears throat> on being uh, back a little bit more. I don't know. It, it feels like my upper back is still a little bit too far forward. But uh, as you can see, I'm uh, dragging it more up my legs now than I used to be. As uh, as given by the fact that I'm pulling the shorts up. <laughs> so. Sorry if it's noisy here today. The uh, I'm kind of doing uh, doing this at work during lunchtime, so. And you see there, I smeared uh, smeared the scab on my left leg, so. It's fun times when that goes, and uh, I don't know how to stop it from uh, from destroying that scab, so. Yeah. So there's these guys uh, behind me there, and I just noticed on the camera that they were guys watching my me do my deadlifts. A bit unnerving. So uh, here's set three. And. Uh, You'll see my back's rounding a little bit. I was really tired by this point. Um, and you will see in a minute that um, <coughs> actually something happens and uh, it wrecks my concentration for this uh, for this set. So I'm I see my back's a little bit rounded there, right at the start, even before I start. So there I, uh, the, the callus on my right hand uh, decided to rip open at that point, so I'm uh, bemoaning it right now. <laughs> I'm wondering what I should do if I should uh, pick some skin off, which I actually do. No, if I should uh, continue with the set or... Um, or what? So actually, uh, the next <clears throat> the next rep, I give a shot with double overhand, and uh, you'll see. I've never looked at my hand so much in my life. I'm just <laughs> I'm just looking at that now. Holy cow! It's the same thing over and over. It doesn't change, man. It doesn't change. So. Okay, so I tried this one with a double overhand, and you'll see that I'm just in a terrible position. 
my back's rounded already. I pull it up, and I can't, I can't hold it. So at this point, I'm thinking about scrapping the set, and then um, I really want to, uh, really want to finish it. So I end up going a mixed rip for the next three, uh, the next three reps, and it actually goes, uh, it goes well. I, um, I even forgot at that point that I was on camera, so. Else this would have gone a little bit quicker. <laughs> I wouldn't have been watching my hands so much. So, I get my mix grip in. It doesn't go too bad. So. So I uh, I end up pulling the rest uh, mixed grip. Uh, there are a couple of things going on here at work, so I'm a little distracted. <coughs> and uh, it actually goes pretty well. Uh, shit stings, and it wrecked my concentration. So you can see every time my uh, my back's rounded there. So I'm really I'm pulling. Not all with my back, but a good portion. I'd say about 60% with my back, 40% pushing out the legs. I got my last, uh, last rep in here. And, uh, Maybe in retrospect I should have stopped the set, but uh, no, I wanted to get past 290 and hit 300. So, um, like I said, I realized that uh, my back's rounding. So, anyways, no, my back doesn't hurt today. I'm feeling fine. And here's a, a nice gander at it. Ugh.